Our first stop was the home of City Councilman Bill Cole, whose downtown district hosts the race course. It has to close the front. I got it. I got it. This is fun. <laughs> it all started, he says. February of 2008, uh, a guy came to meet with me. Uh, uh, he told me he wanted to bring race cars to downtown Baltimore. I did what any normal sane person would do, and I told him that I thought it was crazy. Cole became a believer when officials with the Indy Racing League, that's the race's sanctioning body, arrived to tell him that they had already scouted the potential track. And uh, had walked the area, looked at the sight lines, looked at the harbor, looked at the um, stadiums, and came back and said, we think this would be a grand slam for Baltimore. All that was needed then, in 2009, were some municipal permits, about $8 million worth of road work, and enough cash, uh, $15 million, say to pay for the setup and any ensuing crises. But who are these Grand Prix visionaries? Where to find them? How did it actually start? And Kiefer uh, Mitchell called me and said, hey, would you mind meeting with this guy? Uh -huh. uh, Orange juice here. What is this stand called? This stand is called Nothing But The Juice. We found him at this farmer's market stand, where he touted the benefits of the race. Bring a lot of tourism our city, uh, some international tourism, and also economic development uh, that's badly of needed. the founders. With a uh, group of guys who had an idea about uh, doing a Grand Prix race here in the city of Baltimore about three and a half years ago. These folks call me back. I think I'm trying to reach them. Which, which ones? The Grand Prix folks. Okay. You I can... the website, and uh, they don't even have a, they don't even have a uh, directory. Actually, they do. They've got a coming soon as a. Are you one of the checkered flag girls? Yeah.